Hi everyone, it's Megan here with ESB. This is a quick tutorial on how to use your Concur app. You should already have your login and password handy and have already activated your account from a laptop or a computer. Kathy or Stephanie should have sent you this. And once all of your preferences are set up and your account is activated, go ahead and download this app. It's available for Android or for iPhone. Um, and both are pretty much the same. This is from an iPhone, but it's all the basic same concept. So this is the home page of the app. Upper left hand corner there kind of has your preferences, your settings, things like that. But primarily you'll just need these three main focuses here. We'll worry about booking travel and trips later. Right now we're just working on expenses and then how to file it to a report. So your first step is to have your receipt or invoice or expense proof handy. Um, I like to just capture it as soon as I get it in my hand, whether I'm at the airport or at a store or um, you know, have the travel confirmation in my email. I take that receipt, I either screenshot it or I'll take a photo of it with the app, which is super handy. So as soon as you have that receipt in your hand, you would click on the below blue part, which says expense it. And then you're just going to scan your receipt. Sometimes it can be a little wonky. All right, boom, takes about two seconds. It's going to scan the receipt, scan the amount, decide on what it was, which you'll have to go and probably fix a little bit later, but first confirm that the amount was correct. Yes, it was 1066, and then hit done, lower right hand corner. And then it's going to pull up your list of expenses that you've put in, and it'll analyze that receipt. It's super important that we have the correct job coding available and um, purposes of our expenses, you know, explained in these reports because Stephanie has to code everything into QuickBooks and it helps us, you know, give proper bids and have all the correct coding so we can give exact job costs and decide on what profits come from every job. So it is important that you have your receipts. We are, you know, allowing you to miss 10 receipts in 90 days. And if you lose more than that, then you will lose your credit card privileges. So keep that in mind. And like I said, this is super easy. So you don't have to mail in your receipts and, you know, keep them all and, and lose them. Just take a photo of it with the app as soon as you get it. And then at the end of the week or at the end of the month, then you can go through, you're going to click on each one and just categorize it for us and make sure that you note all the purposes of it and what it was for. So this was not a computer and IT expense. This was a post office visit. Let's just say, um, so you would actually just put in the reason what it was. This was postage. I'm using this as an example. Location, this was for Houston office. You would put whatever state that you're working in or what where the job is. The vendor, yes, it was USPS. So put whatever store you were at or where the expense was and then put comments. Those are also super helpful, especially um, when Stephanie is deciphering all of these different expenses coming in because we have over 30 people that have credit cards. So please keep that in mind. So let's just say this was for shipping ESP shirts to Cubic employees. Upper right hand corner hit save so it's going to save that expense and the great thing is is all of this will categorize it for you later and draw this expense report each month so going to my expense report it's August those alerts mean that there are fields that are not filled out yet so if you see the um, exclamation point in the upper right hand corner that means that your receipt has not been explained so you're going to click on it and again you can do this at the end of the month at the end of the week however you need to do it um, if you do need to itemize i suggest adding the itemization if you guys are going to home depot or lowe's and buying a ton of stuff um, for an install job but also have to buy a computer for that's lodging related or something that's travel related we suggest buying those larger items on a different receipt that way you don't have to go through and itemize every single receipt, you know, based on each 
thing that was purchased. So you can, you know, go through there and allocate it, view the receipt. If you don't remember, if you bought it three weeks ago, say, oh yeah, that was the, the package I sent out for the Cubic crew. Whatever you need to do. But make sure it matches up right. So this was postage again, so click on that. The date to make sure the date was correct. What was the purpose of it? Um, it was shipping apparel. Vendor description, where did you buy it? Payment type, it's not an employee reimbursement because I put it on my company card. So make sure that you pay attention to that. You can scroll down to your name and make sure that that's the correct card that you used for it. Job coding, super important and required. So this was an admin because I work out of the office, but you guys would need to match it to whatever job you're on at the time. And then for service type, was it an install job or was it maintenance? It could kind of be a mixture of two, so you could choose 50-50. And then make sure you put in a comment if it's something that is looks confusing or isn't really self-explanatory on the receipt. So once all the details are in and the missing required fields are in, then you can save it and it's gonna to go to your expense report for that month. At the end of the month, I recommend just going through, making sure that all these red exclamation points, all these red flags are gone. And you do that by filling out the job code usually. You'll see that it's asterisk um, usually. Okay, so it'll explain to you exactly what it's missing. After you've gone through all of them, hit submit. This is gonna to go to your report. I can't submit this report because it's missing a ton of information. These are all just, you know, the scans of the receipts that I've taken and I haven't filled out the fields yet, which I'll do next week because our expense reports are due on the 5th of every month. So once all of those red flags are gone, then you can submit. And for example, if I go back to my expense reports, for my July one I submitted, it's approved and in accounting review. That means Darlene, Stephanie, Kathy are going over the expenses and approving it all. Um, but once you see that green button there, it means that you're good on your end, all of your stuff's in. If you have any questions, please call myself, Megan, Kathy, or Stephanie, and we can assist you with this. We want this to be seamless and this system is pretty easy um, and it will help us down the road with so many endeavors. So we appreciate your compliance and coordination with this and just keep in mind these are due on the 5th of every month.